How's it going YouTube examples here and welcome to the start of a brand new series and this series is going to be based around the Escape from Tarkov game that I've fallen in love with quite recently and this particular series is going to be a little bit different to say a generalized playthrough. It's going to be a series that has a few little rules a little bit like the hardcore series but at the same time not like the hardcore series because not everything is exactly the same as that particular series. So. With regards to this series, uh, I'm going to very quickly run you through the rules that we've got so far. They could add, they could change, etc. during the course of the series. But to start with, players can keep all their pistols and meds in their starting stash. Um, you can only examine items from uh, in raid. Players can only use or buy items that are examined in raids. Tasks aren't essential, but can be completed if the player would like to do so. Players can only use the flea market to purchase items that have been examined in raid. You cannot sell to the flea market. Players cannot buy or sell from fence. The container can only be used for keys or items that hold keys. Players can heal using therapist outside of raid, however they can only use her if they die in the raid. So you can only ensure one item per raid. You can only queue up with players that are playing by the exact same rule set. And also you can use your scav in this series. We are going to jump into our first raid here and in fact I think I'm going to run a scav as our first raid and the reason I want to do that is he's got a shotgun which would be quite nice for us to run around with. He's got a scav vest which would be a rig for us and he's got a backpack by the looks of things so all of that would be very handy for us to have so I am going to go ahead jump into a scav run on factory just to see if I can get some more loot and get out. Uh, it doesn't really matter about fountain raid unless there's stuff that we want to obviously sell as you know, because we can't sell on the flea market, I was about to say, unless there's stuff you want to sell on the flea market, but we can't do that. So it doesn't matter about found and raid for that side of things. It matters about found and raid, obviously, for the items that we are looking for, for the found in raid, um, the found in raid tasks. Uh, but luckily enough for us, the um, shotguns and the uh, slavers, I don't think you have to find in raid. So that's... That is a bonus uh, for us, but nevertheless, I'm going to jump into our first little run here on Factory with our Scav, and we'll see how things go. Alrighty, so we are in our first little Scav raid here. A little bit of money for us as well, which is nice. Main thing I'd like to get out with is obviously the shotgun, and peeking around here, there's a lot of dead bodies in front of us, which is interesting to me. So, what I am going to do... is kill him. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't what I expected to see when I peeked around the corner, I'm going to be honest. I'm quite glad I listened out and I heard that guy run in. Otherwise, I think I would have gone straight for the loot <clears throat> and then died. So I'm glad I was patient. He had a bandage for us, which we'll take. So right here, um, what I'm tempted to do is literally take all of the stuff from this guy see what i can see what i can grab from everyone else that's like just piled up here um we can go from there can i no so this is that so we'll do this nothing there shotgun we need that shotgun for the quest so i'm quite happy that we found that we'll take the um pk06 off of it I uh, will grab all of the ammo. We'll try and stack some of this as well. So we've got plenty there. And do this. So, I've looted you, looted you, looted you. Sorry, I was just trying to make sure I remembered who I had and hadn't looted. If we can get out of this raid, I will uh, count this as a win massively. No, oh, right, yeah, my health, I examined that. I was like, why can't I put it on? Because I haven't examined it. I am listening out whilst I do this to make sure I don't get, like, crept up on by anyone. Okay. So, where is our extracts? I apologise about my phone going off. So, camera bunker door is an extract for us, which is down through here. I don't think it's this way, though. Yeah, it's not this way, but I just want to kind of check, make sure there was no one else dead around there. 
because people tend to die a lot at obviously the um sorry i heard footsteps i think they're above me yeah they were above me <laughs> that's unfortunate they were above me he just had a really good angle on my head that's a, that's so unfortunate that would have been a nice little raid to get out of we would have had one of the shotguns for the quest for uh, Prapor. We would have had a couple of weapons for ourselves. We would have had a backpack, a rig. Oh, I'm so I'm so upset. That was that was two backpacks. That was an MBSS and a tea bag. That was a sh uh, a shotgun that we could use. That was a 209, I think, AK that we could have used, and we had the shotgun for the opening quest. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. Never mind, never mind. We'll go into our first PMC run now. Uh, we've got a pistol. We've got a, a single uh, mag for ourselves. We're going to go into customs because we need scout kills on customs. Uh, so that is the uh, map of choice. We are going to ensure the pistol. And we are going to see if we can try and survive the raid. Uh, obviously, we're going to go for scav kills. We're going to hopefully get some good loot and get out. We're going to try and avoid players if we can. The only downside is, obviously... Wherever the scavs are, normally there's players as well. But regardless of that, we're going to hop into the raid and get a win under our belt. Alrighty. Bit of a late spawn, which is fine. Obviously, we can't take too much. In fact, we can't take anything apart from keys. But I am going to search these uh, bits and bobs just so I can uh, essentially just do what I've done here and um, go ahead and examine things that we could potentially go ahead and use but I do want to try if I can and find a scav um, to go ahead and try and kill off the break here solely because I do want some sort of uh, backpack or rig so I can actually loot things and actually get out with some stuff that would be the ideal aim not even any scavs over here that's frustrating because there's normally either a sniper scav or a couple of scavs down in this grassy area but there's literally nothing that's not annoying at all okay i honestly wish one thing that i really wish they did for this game is um brought in more rig and backpack spawns like i know there's rig and backpack spawns in um in maps uh, and some armor spawns in maps but there's in my opinion not enough of any of them so if you're looking to grab like a rig or armor or a backpack you have no way of There's another one nearby. That's a nade. That's a couple of nades. Is that? Scav. It's about to say scav boss, but it's not. It's just a scav that had a nade. Okay, couple of scav kills down. That's nice. I need to kind of loot and go, though, because we made a little bit of noise. Tea bag, put that on. Shotgun will take, especially as it's a 153. means that we have, obviously, the shotgun for the um, quest that we're trying to do, which is nice. Uh, that's screws, which I'll take real quick. Right, one thing I do want to do... Okay, he's got an MBSS backpack, so we're going to drop that for now. We'll put that on. Put that in there. Take the VPO. I want to search the tea bag, for, like, hopefully quickly. It's a key. So I think that's a key for uh, reserve as well. Let's get ourselves inside first. Put 
pretty sure that's a key for reserve. I'm 90% sure this is a key for reserve. It is. Okay, cool. Uh, so we've got some more bandages, which is actually really nice. Smash that on number six. AK custom mags, which you'll need for using the uh, 136. And then I'm pretty sure this is going to be shotgun ammo, which we haven't actually found yet. Okay, cool. Nice. Do something like this. Uh, put that in there. Okay, so so far, this raid's been pretty good to us. But we've got a long, long way to go. Long way to go. We could run into players. That There could be all sorts that happens to us. Uh, right, I want to go and check this secret stash, actually. Over here. Now that we have a backpack that we can actually put things into, we can do a little bit more looting. Plus, it will allow us to hopefully... Um, I was supposed to say, where's my search? Uh, hopefully be able to... Uh, what should I call it? Examine more items. Don't think we need the D bat for anything. I think the only thing we would need the D bat for is uh, potentially trading for something. I don't know whether it trades for anything there. Like I can't actually remember. But nevertheless, first couple of kills on the board on scavs in the series obviously we, I, don't, I don't think i mentioned i actually got a scav kill outside of the um outside of this series when i was playing trying to record the first episode and it just decided to be weird on me don't know if i mentioned that i think i did but i'm not too sure um but nevertheless we did have that situation where <clears throat> we had one scav kill so we kind of got a leg up on um getting things done quest wise albeit we still have quite a way to go to get every quest sorted uh, please thank you having to examine everything is obviously not ideal but at the same time I'm not going to complain right we'll put that down there so at the back of this ambulance there is the potential of a um key for interchange but there isn't one there so right now all we're trying to do here we've got a couple of scav kills and this would be a win under our belt if we could extract especially with the key that we've got i don't know if the key that we've got is actually worth um, any sort of decent money. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I'm going to use the green tea. Just put that in and carry on. Yeah, I can't remember if the key's uh, worth anything or what it's um, used for. But at the same time, it's a key that we can have, we can look into a little bit. So I don't I haven't run reserve too much and I think on this series it'll be a nice series to run reserve a little bit more on in my honest opinion because then it will allow us a to learn the map but b I know there's a lot of uh weapon spawns on the map there's there's just a lot of really good loot on that map which we could obviously probably use in this series so I think the reserve is definitely something that we want to try and um, reserve is definitely somewhere we want to try and go if we can. Okay, a bit of a dilemma here. If you put that down there, drop this, take that. The bolts we're going to need for the um, hideout. So if we use this drop the beanie, take the bolts, and then we can drink the milk. That shooting's sounding like it's either over at construction or it's a little closer at like uh, just outside dorms. Either way, I'm going to try and avoid it if I can. So as I, I, don't, I don't know if I mentioned at the start of the, uh, the raid, but the little kind of goal I have for this raid is a couple of scav kills which we've got get some loot and get out and we're pretty full on loot in the moment 
thought I heard some footsteps ahead. Not too sure if I did, but... That's not footsteps, I don't think. That was, um... Pretty sure that was shots in the distance. Yeah, those are shots in the distance, okay. I was freaking myself out a little bit there. Hmm. Got my hand literally hovering over my tab bar. Hoses I know we're going to need. Marlboro cigarettes I know we're going to need. That grenade could come in really handy. So I'm going to drop the mag because it's insured. Take the grenade. Um, okay. So we're going to drop, drop. Take this. Take these. We'll drop the chloride. We'll put the hose. Okay. Onwards. I honestly think right now our best bet is probably to uh, go to an extraction point and extract. Because so I don't want to stick around for too long and have a player run up on us, like a geared player run up on us. But then I don't want to run out too quickly. Don't know if that was a player or a scav. It's definitely a scav. One dead. Pretty sure that was more than just that one, though. No. Yeah. Cool. So, we've got the scav kills we need for that task, which is nice. To Shonka, we need for a quest. The downside to these two scavs is they're out in the open. Well, this guy isn't. He's in the bush, but the other guy's out in the open. There's a VPO. I want to see what ammo he's got in the VPO. I don't want to discard that. Never mind. Just screwed myself there because I don't have any space for it to be unloaded into myself. Uh, trying to figure out what he's got on him. He's got an air kedder. That's a player. I'm not going to go back for that. As much as I would like the Kedder, I'm not going back for it.
Not going back for it, and whatever I put into that rig, I'm not going back for either. I'd rather not. I'd rather just get out now. Well, I say get out. I'd rather just um, move on. I'm surprised he didn't kill me. Unless he was going for a headshot and just completely whiffed the headshots, maybe. That's literally the only thing I can think of. Car extract is up. <clears throat> I want to get a wind and rub out, hence why we didn't stick around there. We stick around there and we 100% die. Like, the, there is no way we're beating whoever, like, whatever that was. It was a silenced weapon of some kind. It could have been, it could have been a scav or a player scav because they can have silenced weapons, but. I just, yeah, I don't see that being the case at all. So I kind of just want to get out of this raid if I can. Because we've done uh, the first part of the task, which is get the scav kills. Um, we just need to hand in MP153 shotguns. We have one on us at the moment. I want to take this fight with the scav. I don't care. I want to take this fight. Is he running away? Not anymore. There's a dead scav there as well. Get inside real quick. Okay. I don't want to go ahead and just loot straight off the rip. He has a shotgun on him. He has an axe as well. Take the axe. This is the newer shotgun. Okay. I don't want to be here for too long. Take the backpack. Don't have room for the ammo. I don't have room for the shotgun. Okay, we're gone. We are Audi. So the downside of this is we've got a blacked out left arm. So we're going to have to use med, uh, like, blah, 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 I can't even get my words out, our own meds to um, to heal it, which is fine, it doesn't bother me because we can buy uh, AI2s off therapist quite easily, so I'm not too fussed about that. Um, but at the same time, it would have been nice to uh, not have a blacked out arm, you know. But nevertheless, that is... The first win under our belt. We got 4.4k XP from that raid. We got five scav kills. So technically, even if we didn't have like the start, like the head start, should I say, on the debut quest, we still would have got our five scav kills that we needed. So we still would have had uh, the quest done anyway. That's kind of why I wanted to take this fifth kill. I didn't say it obviously during the video, but it's kind of why I wanted to take this fifth kill uh, on the scav because then technically uh, it's not a um, it's not a raid where we've gone ahead and just got four scav kills and got the debut quest done. So five scav kills, technically the debut quest done in that raid. So quite happy with that. Got a decent amount of XP, so we're through level two, through level three, and about a quarter of the way to level four. So what did we get hit by? PS. It was PS ammo. So it must have been a scav that was shooting us. Either a scav or a low level player that only has access to PS ammo for their AK. I almost hit apply there. I almost hit apply. That could have been a... Could have been an uproar. You said you can't use therapist if you survived. No, I can't. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't click that. But... As I said, a win under our belt, we can now go ahead and ensure something else. We can go in with um, the AK that we got. If we can if we can actually get um, the magazines for them from traders, which I 
think we can. I'm not too sure. I think we can. Um, but if we can get magazines from the traders, then awesome. We'll be able to take in that AK rather than the pistol. I don't mind taking it in the pistol, um, but I'd rather not. Uh, we've got ourselves a rig. We've got ourselves a backpack. So that was a really, really good raid. Um, we managed to avoid all player contact, which was nice. Um, we managed to get ourselves our five scav kills. We got one 153 shotgun, so we just need one more 153 shotgun uh, to be able to finish off the initial quest for uh, Prapple, which is really, really nice. Really nice indeed. So let's unload our loot. The axe is actually really nice for leveling up um, Jaeger. When we get Jaeger, I'm putting anything that's going to be related to weapons here. Uh, we've got one AK custom mag, which we'll just pop there for now. Uh, syringe, which we I think we need for something, so I'm going to pop it down the bottom. Uh, I'm going to put everything down here. Uh, to Shonka, I know that we need for a quest. Uh, we've got an MP. I don't know if we're going to ever use the um, MP5, but we have it just in case we ever want to use it. Uh, we'll put this down here. SP7 ammo. So what we would ideally like to find or like to get is a march room key. So if we can get a march room key, then we'll be able to go ahead and um, we'll be able to go ahead and obviously hit march room when we're on um, customs. We got ourselves. I'm trying to just figure out right. We'll put the keys down here. Obviously with a standard account, um, you're going to have a lot more. Uh, limited space when it comes to being able to uh, have all of your bits and bobs still in the uh, what am I trying to say still in your stash so yeah not not ideal but it is what it is uh, right we'll sell we'll sell this we're keeping hold of the AK mag because that's what we're going to go in with we are going to take this shotgun out and we're just going to very quickly examine everything that's on it because technically we found it in raid so we can examine all of this stuff because you can't do it in raid uh, so i'm going to take the light off and i'm just going to hand that in like it is and we'll put the flashlight down there we'll take this pistol off because we're not going to be running it in the next raid and we want to find ourselves we've got some ps ammo here so we're good on the ps ammo um, and we can actually, if we do have um, the ability to buy that, which I don't know if we do yet, but if we do, then we've uh, got ourselves a nice little um, weapon to go in with, really. So the 153 shotgun we are going to hand in to Prapple for the task. So no, we're not, because it's a 153 and we need 133s. So in that case... It is something that we can run in a raid, which is actually really handy. I forgot it was one three threes that we needed for Prapple, uh, not one five threes. But nevertheless, we didn't run into a one five three, so that's fine. But we're going to run the Vepa, um, Vepa KM VPO one three six in the next raid, as long as we can get some more um, custom mags for it, which I don't know uh, if we can. I don't know who it would be that would sell the mags for it. So it's not Prapple. Does he, he has PS ammo though, so that's nice. So we can actually buy some ammo, but he doesn't have any magazines for it. Uh, mechanic doesn't either. Neither does, ah, no, Skier does. So we've got one, two, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we get ourselves, we've got two. So if we get ourselves, three of these and then if we go to Prapple and if we buy ourselves say 50 PS rounds I think we should be good to go yeah okay cool so that's our next little loadout, which is nice. We're probably going to, again, ensure the um, VPO uh, over everything else. Oh, I need to sell that AI2 that's got two left on it. Do I have anything that I can top up? No. So I think, yeah, we're just going to sell that AI2 um, that's got two out of 100, just because 
it's not really going to be any use of us, uh, any use to us, should I say. Is there anything else that I want to sell? Um, I mean, we could sell this stuff here, the attachments that we found, because we're not really going to be anywhere near... Um, actually, yeah, we'll sell the attachments and we'll sell the MP5K, because we're nowhere near being able to... Um, customize weapons and I'm never going to use that mp5 in my honest opinion keep hold of the axe in fact I'm pretty sure the antique axe is going to be better than our bayonet so we'll just swap those over uh, the bayonet we're going to keep hold of because we can sell that to Jaeger once we get Jaeger but nevertheless we managed to get ourselves a nice little win about there which is awesome Let's have a little look at where we are when it comes to the scav. Okay, so we've got a scav available. So I am going to run another scav on factory again, just to uh, finish off this particular episode. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can get another win under our belt and get some more gear from our scav. Alrighty, so we have spawned in to our little scav raid. Uh, let me just very quickly do something like this. We've got a smoke grenade and we have a fully automatic pistol, albeit we're not going to put it in fully auto. We have 10 minutes left with a extract of office window. And it seems like there's a lot of um, shooting going down above us. So I don't know how successful our little... Actually, I don't know if that's a... That's not above us. There's a dead body down here. Take the tape. Just gonna clear in here. So I am gonna take this time just to uh, loot up in the, in the drawers and just take what I can from here. All that shooting either sounds like it's underground or it sounds like it's um, by the extract. Either way, I think I'm going to leave it till late to try and investigate that area, maybe. I don't know if I do want to investigate it or not. There's a lot of shooting going on over there. A lot. Is that, a, that is a GPX. Okay. I am listening out for anyone that might be creeping up on us. Some key. This is room 204, which I think we need for a quest, maybe. I can't remember off the top of my head. Didn't even realize there's a rig there, I'm going to be honest. Take it though. There's me saying, oh, we need more rig spawns. This would be looted, I would imagine, but I'm just going to check it anyway. But yeah, there's me saying, oh, we need more random rig spawns. And I run into one. So technically, this is a win because we have a rig, we have another pistol, we have a bigger backpack, we have another rig. So we could just extract here. The problem is I am I'm so intrigued as to what the hell all that fighting was. Still got six minutes. Door is open. I honestly think it was people camping the extract. If 
fighting each other. There's a lot of dead bodies out here. Ooh. I'm not going to be able to fit both in. I am listening out for anyone that might still be in that extract. It's a little wallet which would be quite handy just to sell. I am keeping half an eye on the time as well. The Saiga wouldn't be bad but I don't have room for it. Okay, I'm done. Just hope there's no one now camping up here. I close that door. Okay, this will be another massive win for us because we've got some armor now, which is huge. We could have taken the packer, but there was literally no room. And I'm sorry that I went like super quiet whilst I was looting, but I was, I was literally trying to listen. Uh, to anyone that might still be uh, in gate 3. We could have checked out gate 3, we could have run into gate 3 and just hoped for the best, but with the stuff that we found, i.e. Um, the uh, the SKS, for example, the armor, the helmet, that is a huge, huge win for us. A bigger backpack is massive, another AI2, another bandage, another splint, uh, some dollars, our first set of dollars, so yeah. That is a huge, huge win for us. We've now got ourselves a reasonable stash to go with. Um, and I say reasonable because uh, obviously we've still got a long way to go before we're in the clear. We've now got a silenced SKS, which is actually massive. Like, I'm so happy we've got an SKS now, uh, especially a silenced SKS. Like, <laughs> Yeah, back to back good raids right there. Back to back good raids. That's that is why though I'm I'm doing a lot more scav runs on uh, factory because even if you don't get into a fight with people, you're bound to found either find dead bodies at the top um, by the office extract, underground um, in the like owl shaped, um, well it's not owl, it's like a Z shaped underground area or you're bound to just find people that have died from extract campers so what i am going to do is i'm going to wear the helmet in our next raid in the next episode um the scav vest is empty that's fine the mbss i'm pretty sure is empty but we can stack that got ourselves a nice little saiga mag for when we eventually run a saiga we do is this mark room it is a march room. Nice. We did say we wanted a march room key, so that is actually awesome. All right, let's put this down here. Uh, this I'm going to sell to uh, traders. I'm keeping hold of pretty much all the ammo I possibly can right now and the medication, um, just because I know I'm just gonna I'm gonna need it at some point. The stash is already getting really full, <laughs> which is to be expected on a standard account. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I have room to kind of put everything in. Uh, 204, can't remember what's in it, so I am going to take the key. So I think the next raid we're going to, we're also going to put on our, um, we're going to put on our armored rig that we got out of the last raid. We're going to sell the, um, we're going to sell the, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. 
We're going to sell the... <sighs> My brain's just gone to, like, meltdown mode. What am I trying to say? There's a few things we're going to sell. There's, that, that's basically uh, the be and all end of what I'm trying to say here. Uh, we've got some more AK custom mags, which is always good. Because we do have another uh, 136. So, we're going to sell the GM count. We want to put the armored rig on. So now I've got a bit of a dilemma. Like, what do I go ahead and what do I go ahead and um and ensure here? Because we've we've got weapons, right? We've got weapons. I guess I guess we um we ensure our six B four five fifteen armor in our next raid. That's that's what we're gonna ensure because it is our highest um what should I call it? Our highest, our highest, our only armor. I'm just trying to group the stuff that I know I'm going to sell. I am going to sell the Saiga um, mags, actually. I'll sell the Saiga mags because we don't have a Saiga. We couldn't take one, unfortunately. I do like running the Saiga shotgun. This is a fun little shotgun to run. Uh, but unfortunately, we couldn't uh, pick it up. So we are going to sell everything we can to mechanic. And then I'm pretty sure the only other person that takes the knives is Fence, uh, as well as obviously Jaeger. But we're just going to sell them to Fence for now, just get a little bit more cash rolling in. We we're also going to sell this hat also. But other than that, oh, and the wallet we'll just sell to Fence too. Other than that, I think we are good to keep everything else. Let's just move the rigs down together. We'll put the key underneath the backpack so we can do this with those rigs. And then we'll do something like this. Put a shotgun here. Nice. Okay. So, good couple of raids to finish off the episode here. I'm very, very happy with that. Obviously, we've got the win under our belt with a PMC with a nice little uh, raid to start off that particular um, quest line. And then we got a really good raid out of our scav there. We got ourselves an armored rig, a helmet. We got ourselves a silenced SKS, which I am very quickly going to examine everything on just in case we want to make something similar. Well, we don't need to make something similar because you can get these on the scavs. The only thing that we really need is a foregrip and a sight. So I am a little upset we didn't get out with that shotgun with the PK-06 sight because we could have just slapped that on the top of there. If I do go to... Um, if I go to skier, do I have... So I, obviously I don't have skier leveled up high enough yet. Same with mechanic, which is fine. But we'll start leveling those guys up as and when we go along. But regardless, I am very, very happy with the uh, with the series start there. Obviously, the first scav raid that we did didn't quite go to plan. We ended up dying there. Then we ended up getting a huge win under our belt with both the scav run, the next scav run, and also the PMC run. We now have a march room key. So if we do have a good spawn for march room, we can potentially run to march room, try and grab some loot from there. Um, and hope that we get something nice like a, anything really would be a big benefit to us uh, at the moment even if it's just something we're going to sell uh, but regardless massive massive win and rub out on those two raids so before we go actually there's one thing I do want to do which is start our hideout because there's a few things that we can just go ahead and we can just start upgrading uh, straight off the bat because obviously all we need is money for it and then we can start looking at getting other bits and bobs as we go. So if we go security, uh, we'll go for a generator because I do want to start constructing that. We'll go for the vents. So this is going to use up pretty much all of the money that we have at the moment, which is fine because we'll be able to start making money as we go along um, during the course of the series. All of this stuff, unfortunately, we cannot examine here. We have to examine them in raid, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Unless, obviously, you have enough to craft it, then that's a little bit different in that sense. So we do that. So we do have uh, PKs on us. So we could potentially make a Salewa, because that's what this is when we have some fuel. Uh, we could potentially make a Salewa and start that side of things going for the therapist quest. So that's actually really handy. We'll construct our heating area and we can actually upgrade that as well. And we'll go ahead and get our rest space constructed also. So that is everything for the hideout that we can do. 
which is a big dub. But regardless, I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode of this Tarkov series. I don't actually have a name for the series yet, so if you guys have any ideas at all for the name of the series, I'd be greatly appreciative of that particular feedback. Any feedback at all for this particular series, I'd greatly welcome. Any rules that you guys think should be implemented as well, I will take that on board. But nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future content from myself, both on Tarkov and other games in the near future. Also, guys, I'll leave a link in the description down below to my social media, my Twitch, and also my other YouTube channels. I do stream on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that may change into a daily thing in the future. I'm not too sure. And also, with regards to the other YouTube channels, I do have a YouTube channel for miniatures, so the likes of Warhammer, etc. So if you are into that, by all means, go and check that out. A link will be to that in the description down below. I also have one to my train card game, which I'm creating, and also a uh, just a generic train card game channel, which focuses on the likes of Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, uh, Argent Saga, and uh, other card games. But nevertheless, guys, I appreciate you guys coming and watching this first episode, and I'll see you in the next one.